with you. Tonight, I'm reviewing from a Nottingham brewery, um, Black and Blue, which is a blueberry porter. Um, or no, blueberry stout even. You, know, you can get it wrong, can't you? 4.1%. So we're talking sessionable strength, really. And uh, let's pour this baby out. So I got this from an, an adventure beer hall. Um, actually reviewed some good evening. No, 4.1%. It's um, got the aroma. Oh my gosh. Beautiful aroma to it. So, good evening. Good evening. So, yeah, from Navigation Brewery in Nottingham, near Blackpool, a very light, I say light tan head, certainly off white head. Massive. Good evening. Oh, so. Blueberry, massive blueberry on the nose. You get the roasty elements from the coffee. Good evening. And uh, yeah, not quite a nice looking beer, to be honest. Good evening. 4.1%, uh, 4 .1, 4 .1%, so not the strongest, but like all good beers, you know, you don't have to have it strong to be a good beer. Uh, even though the likes, some, the likes of some people like myself, who, you know, like beers that are strong, but can't them all. But the aroma, oh, the aroma's nice. It's a, I mean, I, don't, I can't remember having a blueberry stout. I've had blueberry wine, juice wine that I've made myself. Oh, the aroma's absolutely divine. Good evening. Oh, so let's have a quick, uh, Oh, very much blueberry at the front. A roastiness in the background. You can tell it's a 4 percenter because it does feel a bit thinner than, than it would do if it was a stronger beer. It's okay. Grants, you know, Grants, Famous Grouse, Bells. Um, they're pretty much standard whiskies in this day and age. At the supermarkets, that is. Then you pay for the more expensive stuff. Not sure if I have, you know. Um, the Duvel, that is. Um, not sure if I've seen it. I've tried normal Duvel, obviously. I've tried, is it Duvel Citra? That's in Morrison's. But the Triple Hop, I don't think I have. I don't think I've seen it to try it. You know, this reminds me of Guinness, but with a black, um, blueberry rather, with a blueberry flavour to it. And I'll tell you what, to say I've had no beer since last night, that first beer has given me a wallop. And it was only 6.3%. Maybe not tonight, I would if it tanked. I feel tanked already, and that's on one beer. The Citra, ah, right here. No, I've not reviewed the Blueberry and Waffle. Not that I remember. I'm hoping to get the low cost beers tomorrow. I really do. It does look decent, yeah. It's a nice fruity stout. You know, if you're not one for stouts, but like, like you know, to want to go on the stouts, this is this is one of them good introductory beers to get you into the stouty bit. You know, you got the fruit element, the blueberry. It's massively fruity, and uh, you know it just like drags you in. I mean, I would go Guinness, then I would go this. Four point one percent, not too strong. I may well have done. Yeah, midnight stack. I may well have done. Wilco's winter spice day. Oh yes, that's nice. It was alright. It was good. Mm. 
very easy going, very easily drinking. I'll tell you what. So I'm a bit into the second beer of the day. Favourite whiskey? Oh, now you're asking. Bloody hell. Maybe Glenfiddich 18. That's a nice whiskey, ladders. Bourbon. Probably uh, Knob Creek on the bourbon side. I did like a bit of Knob Creek. It is a fucking bourbon, I hope. <coughs> Pardon my French. Good evening. <laughs> What's that? I missed that. Homebrew Slurpee Stout, two Cooper's kits. I hope the bloody yeast worked for you. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, Famous Grass is nice and cheap, isn't it? You know, when we was at Sainsbury's, it used to come on at 14 quid. Maker's Mart. Uh, yeah, I've had Maker's Mart before. Uh, my old workmate, Zoe, she bought me um, Knob Creek. Went down so bloody easy. And... Uh, <laughs> yeah, knob creeps. <laughs> they are heavy. When when the kegs are when the barrels are full, they are bloody heavy. Eighteen pound twenty for a ginger beer kit. What was a ginger beer? Two beer kits together is definitely what the way. Grants is okay, you know. It's like. Bells and famous grass in some ways. It's the standard stuff. Um, you know, there, there are better whiskies out there, but you pay a lot more for them. Good evening. You know, some of the Lidl's offerings are quite nice. And, you know, it's the price you want to pay. I mean, let's be fair. You know, not everyone can afford to pay three or four quid for a can. So, you know, when it's 99, one pound twenty. Then fair dues. Teachers. Hmm. I've had teachers before. It's okay. It's similar. It's a similar sort of whiskey to the likes of Bell's, you know, famous Grouse, Grant's. I do like the Morgan Spiced. Yeah, I like the Spiced one. Hobgoblin. Yeah, Bob Goblin's nice. Yeah, a lot of the stuff along the same sort of price is standard stuff. The same with gins. You know, a lot of the, uh, like the London gins, they're all pretty standard. There's very s slight differences between them. Yeah. That's why they so, sell so well. Because it's... Because you add a bit of cola to them, jobs are good. Em. Might do one Monday. Definitely won't be Sunday because uh, I'm doing them two uh, Imperials on Sunday. And no way can I do a third beer after two Imperials. No chance. Good evening. I mean, it depends what flavours you like. With whiskies. You know, you can go for full-on smoky whiskies, peaty whiskies. And, uh, you know, it depends how much you want to pay as well. I mean, my son-in-law, he likes his whiskies. And uh, he proper buys expensive whiskies. Me, mm, you know, most of my um, reviews are straight down the hatch. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel for it later. You know, you drink, you drink it and then... An hour later, you're like, Jesus, that was strong. I mean, this is only the second beer of the day, and I'm feeling battered. And uh, whether it's because I've had no dinner or, or anything to eat. 50-year-old whiskey, wow. And whiskey doesn't, you know, as long as the air don't get to it, it won't age. You know, it's brilliant. I mean, I'm open that I might get a load of whiskies off my, um, one of the gardens I look after. The old fellow, he passed away, but apparently they've got, he's got loads of whiskies. And I said to them, don't chuck them, they're fine. So I'm, I might get, inherit a load of whiskies from there. Better than, better than chucked. I think the old heating thing's not helping, yeah. Because the, the, 
the the last bit then at this bit i'm walloped absolutely flipping walloped might have a might have a strong beer next just to really fucking go over the edge as you do mccallan i remember mccallan 220 quid oh see you know anything above a certain percentage i think it's 37 percent won't go off you know i mean i suppose champagnes i was told champagnes don't go off we had a champagne yeah i feel tanked already <laughs> And if you ever go in, in, in airports, um, yeah, fucking don't blame him either, yeah. I think that's me, dying of dehydration. In the summer months, I need to start drinking more water and uh, juice and keep off the coffee. No, Near where I work, there's nothing. No. Luckily, the chef's coming back soon. So when the chef's on site, I get free dinners. So what I do, I make sure that the chef's on site when I go to a certain site. Got to be crafty, ain't you? I mean, as a 16-year-old, I used to go ice skating and uh, used to have a whiskey bells and um coke then used to go on the ice pissed out my head and that was 16 never asked for my you know any idea either which is strange because at 16 i did not look 18 that's for sure <clears throat> what's that It's all water, isn't it? Let's be fair. <laughs> My favourite review. Oh. You know, at the start of the channel, uh, uh, at the, on, on YouTube, on the front page of the channel, there's the, um, the, the draft beer Hanoi review. And I think that's one of the most interesting... Um, the bell has been rung. Um, that's one of the most funny reviews because when that bottle popped at the side of me, you know, it was like, the fuck? And uh, it really, you know, totally surprised me. Oh, the snake venom. Yeah, that was some beer. You know, 67% beer. Fucking hell. Take some drinking. Oh, so funnily enough, I've never had any issues in a pub in my life. Um, you probably look at me and think, "Yeah, fucking." <laughs> so, loving the blueberry element. Make sure there's none left in the can. The times I uh, just spilled some on the floor as well, bastard. Waste not, want not. I would lick the floor, but it's not. It's not ethical. And uh, for some reason, it's clicking on live chat. That's better. So, make sure I've not missed anybody's comments. I hate missing comments. It's a, it's an anxiety thing, you know. I absolutely hate. I mean, sometimes I'll just nod, but I like to be be right. Yeah, that one where it gushed. Open the fucking bottle and it just went foof everywhere. Up the wall, TV, and I'm going around wiping the ev wiping everything down. Obviously, moisture and TVs do not work. As soon as it goes down the screen and into the electric bit, then you've knackered your TV. Uh, just in case you do it at home. So you've got to get it dry beforehand. <laughs> I 
Yeah, the strongest beer that was um, that was some review that was one hour fifty minutes, and uh, I thought I did well really. Pissed out my head, went up the house, got on the settee, and that was it till four in the morning. Oh, cheers. <laughs> With comments. Yeah, yeah, don't open bottles near electrical equipment, definitely. But yeah, with comments, I like to keep up because there's nothing worse. I've been on other, other reviews, not naming no names, but you know when you wait 20 minutes for them to respond, you're like, oh God, I'm dying here. And then at the end, I just I just close the review down and go to another and go and just go somewhere else. Especially if it's a long life, you know. So it's a, it's an anxiety thing. I can't. I have to try and answer people. I will at some stage get a proper setup in here with the comments. Yeah. Yes. So Kent Beers, for those uh, watching, Kent Beer Reviews. Good evening, Mr. Bowman. Is doing a live later at eight o'clock. It starts. So uh, to those um, to those who want to watch more beers, um, beer reviewers, yeah, he's doing a live at eight o'clock, and he has some amazing people on there. And in fact, last week he had ten different beer reviewers on there, which is you know, I mean, it was a bit too much for me to be honest, but um, yeah, definitely, definitely, you know, keep an eye out on it. Yeah, the dogs are loud in the shed. Although, although I smashed the glass the other day, so I've had to watch out what you know when he comes in. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Somebody live in the tap room. Nearly had that yesterday, to be fair. I'm not interested in super chats. I'm not interested in making money off people. Unless it gets to like a hundred thousand subscribers. And I'm skint and broke, then maybe, but nah. So, a, a quite a nice blueberry beer. It's different, you know. Yeah, well, it was my, it was my 1,000th subscriber. And it was... Then Google could let me go live. So it was my way of thanking everybody for subscribing. And uh, bloody hell, it was some solid beer though. 330 mils of 67% beer. Took some drinking. And I had nothing to drink all day. I had food. And I went from, from sober to drunk quite quickly. Bless you. So, nice black pour, um, blueberry on the nose, blueberry on the taste all day long. And uh, that first beer has given me a right thumping. Um, no beers all day and you go from one beer and you feel pissed. I need to find that review and put that in the, um, the funny playlist. Yeah. I've got my chinky coming. After I've done these live reviews tonight, I've got my chinky coming. So, um... <laughs> oh, man's brown ale. It's um, it's a bit of an acquired taste. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't like to be. I don't like to be bad about any beers, but there is some shite out there. There really is. So I walk up the house, pissed up, she won't be happy. Plus, one division's on tonight, and I need to watch it. No, no, no. The first time I ever did beer reviews was that John Smith's one, which was number one on YouTube. Never did any before. Seen, um, you know, the real ale craft beer bloke, Simon, do beer reviews. And it came on Central TV one day, and I'm thinking, and they're on about this bloke doing beer reviews, and I'm thinking... I can talk shit about beer. And that was my, you know, that was exactly what I said to the wife. I can talk about beer all day long. Exactly. 
anyway, definitely. Um, and then and that was it, really. I thought, sod it, I'm going, I'm going to start doing it. Good evening. Well, I've told her to order me pork and mushrooms. If you go into the Chinese, I'll have pork and mushrooms. I've got this thing about mushrooms. So it's either king corn and mushrooms, cheese, uh, chicken and mushroom, beef and mushroom, or pork. I might stretch the lamb and mushroom one day. Good evening. Man's or John Smith's? John Smith's all day long. John Smith of a man's brown ale. Bloody hell. John Smith's by a mile. <clears throat> Which is me trying to be nice, you know. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely John Smith's. John Smith's draft, anyway, at least. <laughs> so. The taste of blueberry, you know, at the beginning, all the way through. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't drink any of them if there was anything else on the bar, you know, Guinness, you know, even Carlin. <clears throat> Pardon my uh, um, thoughts. So. The blueberry, absolutely all the way through this bit. Different. John Smith or Boddington's? Ooh, I'd say John Smith still over Bod. And then the same with Caffrey's as well. Do you see Caffrey's these days? I've not seen Caffrey's in a long while. <laughs> you can't beat some Back to the Future. Oh, you know, there's many beers out there. Let's be fair. Well, let me get to the other question. There's many beers out there that surprise you. I mean, I, I've had a 3.8 percenter that was absolutely amazing. That was a top 10 beer. So there's always a beer that's going to surprise you. As for the big breweries, well, the big breweries are lucky because they've got lots of pubs. They'll be getting lots of furlough at the moment. But a lot of their super, a lot of their beers are in supermarkets. Supermarkets during all this COVID have sold a hell of a lot of beer. Marston's, Green King and the like have sold a hell of a lot of money. You know, made a lot of money rather. Some pubs have shut down, yeah. You're okay with Mans? That's strange. You know, I, I didn't like Mans. I mean, I don't even like uh, Newcastle Brown these days. It's, um... It's, uh, it's not the beer it was years ago, you know, that's for sure. Trophy Bitter. I don't think I've ever had a Trophy Bitter, to be honest. So, good evening. Um, as for this, 4.1% Navigation Brewery based in Nottingham. Yeah. Um, I'm steaming, I am. I've been out to it, I'm already feeling a bit pissed. Uh, um, fucking hell, the third one's going to be interesting. I need to watch what I drink. Um, and pick, pick something that's not too bad. I suppose it will come in the end with subscribers, you know. Um, uh, we've got a good community. We've got some amazing people. They're not all here, they're not all here tonight, but there are some amazing people who watch this channel and uh, who help out. You know, obviously people have got work, family commitments, and that. But there are some great people who who join in on these live live reviews, and uh, a lot more than what are here tonight. You know, um, they come on different nights. Obviously, everyone's got their own life. Yeah, the blueberry element really is at the forefront all the way through. Um, you do get a bit of roasty toastiness. Um, the ragettes. <laughs> we are community. 
<laughs> the beer review community. That, oh, that's the way I see it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My beer reviews are never short. I just can't do it, you know. It's like when I'm in the pub. I can't drink a beer in four minutes. Fucking hell. You'd be pissed as a fart. Uh, and I'm, I'm already there. <clears throat> so, yeah. Yeah, I get it. It's fucking hell. That's hilarious, isn't it? I do apologise for the profanity to any children in the background. Um, you know, naughty belly, naughty waggy. <clears throat> um, out of five for me, about a 4.1 out of five. It was a nice um, blueberry flavoured stout. Um, a bit like a Guinness with a bit of blueberry in. You know, but very, you know, good blueberry throughout on the nose and in the taste. Ten years of liver abuse, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he does some bloody reviews. Jesus Christ. That four or five reviews a day. Couldn't do it. Um, well, not most days anyway. <clears throat> when it's a weekend and I'm 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 a, in the garden all day, then maybe. So yeah. 4.1 out of 5, um, a nice tasting beer and a good local brewery as well, Navigation Brewery, not far away from me in Nottingham. Yeah, I'm not interested. I'm interested in keeping it as it is. I'm not interested in doing food reviews and all that other stuff, you know, uh, unless it was state reviews, you know, that'd be something, wouldn't it? Doing that mal um, a nice ribeye state review or a rump, ragu, that'd be something, wouldn't it? No, I can't do reviews at work. Only after work, obviously, so I'm supposed to be working. So, you know, you get, I'd be getting the sack. <clears throat> so, yeah. Thank you, everyone, for commenting and subscribing and liking. Um, kill this review. Back in two minutes. He does like his few reviews, doesn't he? Right. Better go. Back in a minute. Cheers. Already steaming. Okay, now.